The film begins after 500 years of training a fox spirit comes to the human world and must face a big frog and different demons to get the white elixir and transform into the legendary nine-tailed fox today the spectral global of fox spirits those beings continuously expect human shape and come to our global to gain the essences of soul elixirs which can transform them into effective foxes with up to eight tails are the maximum favored and legendary of all the nine-tailed QB after 1000 years the time has ultimately come for the spectral beings to come to our world and seek of the legendary white elixir while the QB applicants are gathering to come back to the human world Shazam a spirit who was continuously teased by means of others for being only one half fox finds a broken invitation stone at the ground and tries to use it to attend the ceremony however the guardian quickly notices and humiliates him in the front of the others not able to enter the young man climbs the rocks and begins to observe the ceremony from above after giving his speech the elder and current nine-tailed fox asks the students to go up and touch the mystical fireplace that leaves a symbol in the palm of the hand indicating to the spirit where it will find his elixir but the object does not react to candidates indicating that someone is missing believing it might be his chance to become a QB Shazam volunteers to touch the fireplace along with the other students and after messing up and slipping on the rocks he is still very excited and joins the rest of the group when he finally puts his hands on the object the thing starts to react and marks the palm of each of them but when looking at his the young man realizes that it was not marked thinking there was some mistake Shazam puts his hand on the fireplace once more but this time his arm is sucked into the object and when he finally manages to get it out he notices that the mark came out incomplete forming only a pair of ears after being mocked for. Another failure Shazam meets with the elder to talk and as a way of helping him in his difficult task the leader gives him a legendary knife that has the power to kill demons and other monsters in addition to this help Shazam steals the Yinwick Sea from the Elder which is a kind of device with an imprisoned sage spirit that helps its wielder knowing that Shazam is not the brightest of spirits the Elder orders that guard who mocked him to follow him to protect him until he finds the elixir in the human world the young man who had never tasted any human food starts to devour a whole chicken as if he were a real fox while Shi San is eating a young student named Wang Zijin is walking around the city on his donkey looking for a man he then reaches out to Shisen and shows the painting of Doran his older brother asking if Shisen has seen him anywhere wanting to finish his meal in peace Shisen chases the boy away and continues eating but Wixi Riminshim of his goal and says he should start looking for the ears that the fireplace indicated while looking for those ears the confused spirit gets into an accident and falls into a donkey rental tent scaring the animals and making them run away however during the confusion he also frightens Wang's donkey who in fear starts running towards him the donkey then begins to carry Shazam out of town while being chased by Wong but as they are passing near where the fox spirit was eating a mysterious shaman who had just cured a boy puts a strange mark on the students back after being carried for a long distance Shazam is knocked off by the donkey and continues his journey normally but is pursued by Wong who wants his animal back after a long time of pursuit they get lost in the middle of the forest and find a small building where they decide to spend the night while talking to Wong Wong Shazan finally realizes that the ear that was marked on his hand could be the donkey and so he comes to the conclusion that Wong is the one who will grant him his soul elixir trying to get closer to the student and convince him to give him his elixir Shazan starts talking to Wong about his life discovering that the boy is from a very poor village and wants to take the royal exam to be able to enter the government and thus change the lives of the people of village after a long time of talking Wong falls asleep and during the night Shazam is visited by the guardian spirit that the elder sent and is a way to avoid wasting time hunting the donkey the young man manages to convince his protector to transform himself into the animal and stay that way until the end of the journey as dawn breaks Wong realizes that Shazam has managed to retrieve his donkey and decides to continue his long walk to the imperial city after walking for several miles they decide to stop at an inn and rest until dawn during the night Wong who fell asleep in the middle of his studies wakes up scared and starts looking for his friend but the only thing he finds is a strange loke employee who calls him and points to the water while giving a very suspicious laugh while watching the reflection of the small pool the young man notices that the strange man has completely disappeared and soon after he is pulled by a giant tongue into the water upon reaching the other side Wong finds several bodies completely paralyzed in what appears to be a pile of wax while watching all those motionless people the young man feels something sticky on his back and when he looks 
back he realizes that it is the tongue that pulled him to that dimension of a gigantic mutant frog totally scared Wong tries to run but his leg is held by the creature's tongue that knocks him to the ground and starts dragging it to his mouth to devour him but suddenly Shazen falls from the ceiling right on top of the frog which releases its victim on impact trying to get rid of the nasty creature the spirit takes its tongue and wraps it around the wooden pillars starting a true tug of war with the frog during the dispute they end up knocking down the pilasters that make the roof collapse trying to devour them the huge frog begins to gather a large amount of air inside and then blows at them throwing them against the wall and shooting debris towards the duo to the boys misfortune this ended up removing the slimy layer that was immobilizing those people who look more like zombies finally free the creatures begin to hunt the duo who realizing that they are being followed hide behind a wall and try to make as little noise as possible but the crazy frog uses its tongue like a snake and manages to locate them seeing that sticky thing near his face Wong goes into shock and starts screaming thus giving away the location of his hiding place about to be cornered they try to jump back into the water to return to their dimension but they realize that the liquid is now completely gelatinous so they can't cross it at that moment the evil frog again uses its tongue to catch Shazam and devours him as if he were an insect frightened Wong starts to run desperately and believing that the student has run away Shazam gets out of the frog that soon takes on a human form that's right it was all fake wanting to win the young students trust the fox spirit asked his frogman friend to create this whole scenario for him to be the hero who saved Wong and thus get the elixir more easily but it all went wrong turns out the boy didn't run away he just went to get some explosives in a torch so he could save his friend upon realizing that Wong is returning the frogman transforms again and swallows Shazam again trying to save his companion the young student starts burning the frog's tongue with his torch and as a way of defending himself the shapeshifter starts sucking everything around him once again but it was a bad idea he ends up sucking the torch in the explosives causing a real explosion inside him that makes Chazen to be thrown out like a cannonball as he approaches his friend Long notices that he has a rather furry tail and dog ears the injury partially activating his fox form with Season's entire plan being frustrated the guardian decides to intervene and hits one of Wang's vital points that instantly passes out after confirming that everyone has passed out the guardian spirit takes them to a boat and while Wang is still passed out he tells Shazam that he has a trap set at an inn in Zhang Kong to get the elixir when Wang wakes up the fox spirit puts the plan into action and as soon as they arrive in the imperial city they go to the inn that the guardian indicated however upon arriving there the staff immediately drag the student to Yinglian's room it turns out that this woman is actually a ghost whose soul is trapped in a lotus and as she can walk freely between the human world and the fox world she has the ability to see people's essence and therefore also their elixir so the guardian asks Yinglian to seduce Wang and see what kind of elixir he has in the bedroom the young student falls completely in love with the girl in front of him without imagining that she is a ghost during the encounter the clumsy Wang ends up cutting himself and when Yinglian approaches and touches the boy's back the mark that the shaman left suddenly lights up and repels the woman throwing her away apparently the mark the mysterious healer placed is a protection against ghosts although her job is only to seduce him and verify his essence Yinglian also falls in love with the boy who promises to marry her if he can pass the imperial exam and knowing that the person dies when she has the elixir removed from her body the girl lies to Shazen saying that she couldn't see the boy's essence of Upon learning of Yinglian's failure the guardian becomes furious and begins crushing the lotus that contains her soul as a way of punishing her almost taking her life without imagining what happened to his beloved Wang goes to take the long-awaited royal exam but during the exam Yinglian appears in ghost form and removes she's in soul from his body to talk she then reveals that there is another ghost there that devours the essence of the men who are taking the exam and that this specter removed Wang's soul to devour it also she reveals that Wang elixir is white saying that he could take the opportunity to get it after Yinglian leaves his body Shazen totally ignores the elixir and goes to Wong to save him however the ghost takes the form of his brother Doran and manages to imprison them trying to save his friend the fox spirit uses his legendary weapon to try to escape imprisonment but it was all a trap Doran's evil ghost then sucks Wong Jujin's soul into a kind of purgatory where hundreds of other student souls are devoured Doran's ghost then begins to suck Wang's soul but is touched by the boy's essence and gives up consuming it it turns out that more than a decade ago Doran went to the imperial city to take the same test and decided to take his life after failing several times with that he turned into
into this evil specter but upon contacting his younger brother's soul he begins to remember the time he was alive and how he loved Wong thus giving up his attack but before finally going to the afterlife Doran tells his younger brother to watch out for the old fox that is following him just to take the elixir of the soul that was in his body believing that his brother was talking about Shazam Wong returns to the human world and tells Shazam that he would willingly give him his elixir but before that he goes to Yinglian and declares himself to her revealing that he already knows that she actually is it's a ghost moved by the young man's passion the girl accepts to stay with him and decides to run away but they are pursued by Shazam believing he wants to kill them Yinglian starts attacking the young man and possesses his body trying to make him take his own life but because he is very fond of his friend Wong Triesto protect him at all costs saying that he has already agreed to deliver his elixir to him the England then begins to suffocate the fox spirit and reveals to his lover that by extracting the elixir from someone the wielder ends up losing his life as Yinglian was about to kill Shazam the frogman appeared behind her and stabbed the elder's dagger through her belly to save his friend however as this weapon has such powerful effects as to eliminate even demons the girl ends up losing her life finally being free from her prison here on earth completely furious over losing his lover and with his his best friend's lies long begins beating up Shazam who refuses to fight back after all the confusion the fox spirit apologizes for everything and uses the dagger to try to take his life but when the blade touches his body he is pulled back to the spirit dimension by Zhang the shaman who placed the protection seal on Wang's back upon meeting Shazam again the elder begins to convince him to fulfill his destiny and take the elixir no matter how painful it is an after a difficult conversation the boy decides to return to the human world where he finds Wong in the middle of a bamboo forest he then begins to apologize for having lied but the boy simply takes his life with the elder's dagger and willingly gives him his elixir not realizing that this was not Shazon but the guardian when the real Shazam arrives in the forest he sees his best friend's body being dragged away as if it were a garbage bag in his elixir that was actually dark being thrown on the ground as if it was nothing upon seeing this scene the young spirit is enraged and goes after the guardian as he's just an apprentice Shazan doesn't have a chance and gets beaten up a lot but when he sees the guardian mocking Wang's death he goes into full burst mode and starts giving his enemy a real beating but the combat quickly turns when the guardian assumes his six-tailed fox form at a complete disadvantage Shazam is beaten a lot in addition to being bitten and nearly dismembered. Wanting to end the fight the guardian releases Shazam's body from a really big height pierces his chest with one of the tails and confident that he will soon die leaves him dying as he walks back to the spirit world when life is about to leave Shizen's body he starts to remember his time with Wong and touches the dark elixir however when he does so the essence starts to turn white and a great light begins to emanate from his body he finally became a nine-tailed fox now fully transformed into the QB Shazam wants revenge and rushes towards the guardian at almost lightning speed and scratches his face the six-tailed fox even tries to counterattack but Shazam in berserker mode manages to defend himself by creating an aura of pure spiritual energy around himself and lands a powerful punch on the guardian not satisfied Shazam leaps towards the guardian and rips off one of its tails in addition to flinging it back to the ground knowing that he doesn't stand a chance the six-tailed fox even tries to run away but his head is crushed like an insect when he was about to take the guardian's life Shazam remembers Wong and decides to let his enemy get away after all he's been through Shazam comes to the conclusion that his best friend's life is more important and decides to make a deal with the gods to give up the white elixir as well as his own life to bring it back and after saying the prayer and surrendering his powers he then assumes the form of a small one-tailed fox sometime. After she's in sacrifice Huang learns that he passed the royal exam but gave up on becoming an official of the empire and returned to his village to be with his grandmother but without remembering the journey he had with his companion one day Wang was walking in the forest when he encounters a very injured little fox with whom he immediately forms a kind of bond deciding to take care of the animal and keep it the young student names him Shazan and takes him home and so ends the legendary tale of the nine-tailed fox so what did you think of this movie leave it in the comments below and if you like the video like and subscribe